entrance act fund. Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless the Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, who named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, saw the piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and greet about with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 
the son of man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Nicodemus, "You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone." who is born of the spirit nicodemus answered and said to him how can this happen jesus answered and said to him you are the teacher of israel and you do not understand this amen amen i say to you we speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen but you people do not accept our testimony if i tell you about earthly things and you do not believe how will you believe if i tell you about heavenly things no one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven the son of man and just as moses lifted up the serpent in the desert so must the son of man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life the gospel of the lord my brothers and sisters in christ in today's gospel jesus is talking to nicodemus and jesus is introducing a new way of redemption through water in the old testament the generation aligned with the abraham's tradition and they believed the salvation was through circumcision Now Jesus says it is through water that you are going to be saved in the new testament we all know when we were born and we celebrate every every year but in christian context we would also remember when we were born spiritually that is the day of baptism that is actually a new generation new new birth spiritual birth every religious person is supposed to be thinking of each episode in their life they have different experiences all throughout their life some people i heard say after confession they felt a new beginning because they were so much worried about certain sins in their life and after this confession they felt relieved that is a new experience in their life so how many of us are able to remember such things physical birth as well as spiritual birth here jesus is talking about this spiritual birth no one can this nicodemus had doubt hey how can we go back to my mother's womb and born again and jesus did not say anything about physical birth but he is talking about uh, spiritual birth and second thing jesus is talking about lifting up in jesus life he lifted up three times and one of his lifting up should be considered here when he was 
raised on the cross. He was lifted up on the cross when he died. On the third day, he was lifted up. That is his resurrection. And 40th day, he was lifted up to heaven. So Jesus lifted up in a special way three times. Those who believe and those who trust and those who follow his life will be saved. In the Old Testament, in order to save from the bite of poisonous serpent, God asked Moses to raise a bronze serpent in the desert on the pole. And those who looked at, they were saved. And here, those who believe in Jesus, whose passion, whose resurrection, and whose ascension will be saved. We are fortunate to have that belief. What we must do is we must keep this faith, and we must follow this faith, and we must nourish this faith. It is through this faith we will be saved. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, with gratitude, let us look upon Jesus and his lifting up for our salvation as we pray. For the apostles of today, our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, that they may continue to bear witness with great power to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, we pray to the Lord. That the Lord whose throne stands firm from of old, and whose decrees are worthy of trust, may direct world leaders in accord with those decrees <clears throat> into the ways of justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. For all of us sharing this Eucharist in which Jesus is again lifted up, that we may lift up our love for each other as a sign to attract all to the one who has come down from heaven for love of us. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, the terminally ill, and those whose disabilities and advanced age bring loneliness of heart, that there may be sons of encouragement and daughters of charity who lay their resources of time and compassion before them. We pray to the Lord. For our dear departed ones, that the risen Lord may complete their purification in a powerful gift of grace and lead them rejoicing into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all the other intentions and pray for the intention of today's Holy Eucharist. Heavenly Father, listen to our prayers and answer them accordingly as we offer them through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, when Christ our, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. <coughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, <coughs> we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Edward and Gregory our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Thy kingdom come. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Mother of the Body, Middle of Earth. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Communion Actifern, the Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah.
let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This holy message sendeth go in peace for the love of God. Alleluia, alleluia.